Hello. Because 1.7 is coming out soon, and there's a lot of new biome changes, I don't want to continue with any of my old worlds, so I've decided to start a new Minecraft series, and it's going to be a survival single player series. With all the new biomes, I'm in the snapshot, so they should have most of the new features. And I think I'm going to get it started. Looks like I've already spawned in one of the newly added biomes. Um, it looks like the non-snowy taigas. There is a, looks like a, a snowy taiga. We can check here. Uh, the, an extreme hills actually. But over here I think is a non-snowy taiga just one of the new biomes pretty cool just gonna get the basics started here and then I think we should probably go mining after I get a little bit of food probably a good start okay I'm actually gonna try and get this last log because I don't want to leave the tree there forever uh, And yeah, I'm going to try to go mining, get some basic materials, yeah, all that. <laughs> okay. So, hmm, trying to, to decide which way I want to go. There are some sheep over here. I probably this is pretty cool. I think it's kind of new. They kind of changed how extreme hills biome work biomes work, and there seems to be more exposed stone now in extreme hills. Yeah, and like if you look at the biome over there was the uh, extreme hills plus, which. I'm not sure there's that much of a difference, but it's pretty cool to start in these, especially because it's easy to get stone, coal, maybe even iron. Just get some stuff here. Get started. Oh. There's also little pools. And this coal will be really helpful. I don't have to mine in the dark. I can get torches pretty quickly. I'm gonna make some stone tools. Pickaxe. Axe. And sword. Okay. Pretty good now. I think I'll kill s at least three of these sheep just so I can get a bed because the first night you kind of aren't that prepared it's nice to be able to sleep and it's pretty convenient coal is always nice never have too much of it especially in the beginning when you need torches and food Fuel. Uh, more. Okay. Oh, that's a big tree. <laughs> Is that all one tree? It looks like it might be two. Maybe even three. I'm just gonna go over there. Well, yeah, it's looks like two trees but those are some pretty big trees yeah this is really nice too cows are really nice to start off with because you're gonna need the leather if you wanna get an enchantment table or some early armor and they're a good source of food and I'm actually super hungry right now uh, <laughs> 
guess it's because I've been sprinting around. I need to make a furnace and get some food cooking as soon as I can. So I need some more stone. Let's see if I can find some. Okay. Two, three, four. Okay. Eight stone. Cobblestone should be good. Guess I can kind of set up here for now. It's lots of food, at least. <laughs> I'm gonna need this when I'm down mining. I don't want to kill all the cows, but <laughs> I need a lot for food. Okay. I think I'm gonna go get some, eat this, and get some more cobblestone, so I can try. Oh, and let me check. Okay, I think I'll put it on hard. Not sure if I'll be able to survive, or if I'll die really quickly, but I think I should leave it on hard for now. Unless it's too hard, or... I don't know. Should be pretty easy. Though. Okay. So now I got another furnace going. It's pretty good. Take out some coal. That should go twice as fast now. And I'm probably going to want a little bit more wood. Because... Wood and food are one of the only resources that is pretty hard to get when you're caving. You can get them from... I'm just not even going to bother cutting down that tree. You can get them from like abandoned mine shafts. You can get both wood and food. And from the mobs down there, but it's pretty hard to get. It's easier to get it on the surface. So, I think I'll just get it now, while I have the chance. Some pumpkins. I guess I'll get these. You could use them for food, I'm not too sure on the recipe. I don't usually make pumpkin pie, but... Oh yeah, and swamps look a lot cooler now, I think. Like, that pattern of those lily pads and the um, grass and I think for some reason I think that the uh, grass actually looks a little different at least when it's transitioning because over there kinda looks like the old swamp like uh, weird brownish sort of grass but right there where it's transitioning the grass actually looks really nice it's like a dark green. It's pretty cool. Maybe it's just a different type of swamp. Like, that's the new swamp and that's the oldish sort of swamp. Okay, so. The food's probably finishing up here. Yep. Okay, I guess you can grab these. And. I think it's time to start caving. And I remember I was, I did have a little hole I was digging, but I'm not sure where that went. I don't want to go find it, so I'll just start digging here where there's already stone. And hopefully we can find a cave. Actually, I'm just going to look for a cave. I mean, I just don't want to dig down. Because some of the time you don't even run into a cave. And there's a cave right here, so. Oh. And there's now poppies instead of roses. They're pretty cool. Still same dandelion dandelions, but there's a lot of new flowers. It seems like. Oh, this might just be a surface cave. Just like stays on the surface. Hmm. 
it is getting night. I can make a bed, but I don't know. It just kind of seems not like cheating, but makes it a little bit too easy just to skip the night right off the bat. Especially on the first night. Well, because like if you sleep in a bed at the very beginning, there's no chance of... Well, if you sleep right when it turns night, most of the time you won't even encounter any mobs at all. It's kind of a way of avo avoiding mobs, but I'm just not going to sleep yet. Yay, I got my first iron. Only one piece? <laughs> not that much. I will get some of this coal. After a while, you kind of don't want to mine coal anymore. I mean, you always want to mine coal, but for me at least, I kind of stopped mining coal because it comes in such big packs and it's pretty much everywhere. So I kind of get bored of mining it. And I, after I have like a stack of coal, I kind of stop until I need torches. Okay. So, let's move on. Looks like we have a pretty nice cave. It hasn't started going down yet, but... It looks like it's pretty big. Oh, zombie. First mob kill, or aggressive mob kill. Does it just end there in like a circle? It's like a, that's it? It's just like a circle, oh wait, might be some more. Ooh, yay, more iron. I'm not sure if I should get armor or maybe just go for a pickaxe and a sword. Not sure if I want tools or armor. I could play it safe or I could just go a little bit more efficient. I kind of want to get down a little lower before I start smelting up this stuff. Okay. dead end. I want to get down to about maybe diamond level. Right now we're really high up. 50 Y. It's pretty high up. I think it's because kind of, oh that's cool. The new animation for falling. Uh, yeah. But I think we, I spawned kind of on a mountain. Like, I spawned in extreme hills, and I think I kind of was quite a ways above normal sea level, so it's going to be kind of hard to get down to level 12 and bedrock and that stuff, but at least we're getting iron. We're going to need quite a bit of iron. This is good. I mean, it's dangerous, but it does go down a lot. And I do want to get as far down as possible. But it's really wide open. This is where a ton of mobs can spawn. Because I, I usually just run through. But that was pretty bad. Should have probably blocked or been a little bit prepared for that. <laughs> Almost died. <laughs> okay. So. Here's zombies. I'm just gonna. I don't know where they are. There. Just fortify this place a little. Just so they can't 
get to me. And now, um, take my furnaces. Let's put them right there for now. And start smelting this coal. And there's a lot of coal here, so I should be good for full armor soon. And hopefully tools. And we're starting, we recovered a bunch of our health, so doing pretty good now after almost dying. And I'm getting quite a bit of iron. Probably afford to make a couple more. I'll just make, uh, I need some of these blocks. I'll just make uh, two more furnaces. Just to speed things up a little. Um, I can take some of this coal, I don't need all of it. And put some iron in. Put some iron in here. And let's see. Yeah, that should be good. I'm just going to get rid of this for now. And didn't mean to place that. We're pretty much healed up now. And as this finishes up. I'm going to make some armor and hopefully some tools and then we'll be set for caving. It'll be a lot easier and probably better and easier. And done smelting. Kind of wish I'd gotten some reeds before I came down here. I remembered the leather, but it was getting night and I didn't want to search for reeds, so can't make an enchantment table while I'm down here. But it should be fine. I can always go up later and make one. Don't need one right now. Okay. Now I have some iron gear. I think it's time to move out. I'll get I'll get rid of that wooden pickaxe. Oh, more creepers. Oh, that was close. <laughs> I'm not really safe when I go caving. I could like I probably should because it's on hard be playing more safe and like carefully and trying to avoid taking damage but this is just the way I cave usually and it's it works sometimes but in the recent updates where mobs have been getting harder mostly zombies um, yeah my caving methods haven't been working out so well I usually just rush through, place torches, and not, like, just go slowly and... That's weird. I'm not sure if I've ever seen that. Flowers underground. I thought they needed, like, sunlight to spawn. I mean, I've seen mushrooms in caves and stuff. But I'm not sure I've ever seen flowers. What biome am I in? Extreme Hills. Hmm. Not sure if that's something to do with the Extreme Hills or if it's just random. But I don't think I've ever seen it. <laughs> oh, it's bad. Oh, this water is going to be annoying. I should probably make a water bucket. Pretty useful. Yeah, this water is going to be really annoying. I need to back out right now. Whoa. 
The skeleton must have shot the zombie. Well, I think the skeleton's gonna win. Pretty epic, though. Come on, zombie. I got him pretty low. If the zombie could hit him, like, one time, oh. He probably would have killed him, but... Nope. Well, this is cool. Crevice. It's pretty big. Oh, this is probably really dangerous. There's lava everywhere. I don't want to get knocked into it. So I'm just gonna stay back here. <laughs> I got a lot of arrows in me. Oh. There's more water. That's another thing. I don't really light up caves that well. Even though I like to place torches down and kind of ignore the mobs sometimes, I don't really place enough torches. And... That's why a ton of mobs usually spawn. And now there's a lot of zombies. Not even gonna go down there. That crevice is really dangerous. Okay, so... Yeah, this is a really big cave. And there is a ton of dark areas. Okay, this goes down pretty deep, so I think I'm actually going to go down here. If I can kill this skeleton. Yep, this is that lava level. Um, be nice if I had a water bucket. I probably should have grabbed some water. Uh, I couldn't make a bucket. Oh, there's water right there. Never mind. I'll just make a bucket right now. And grab that water. Bucket's one of the most helpful things, at least for me, when, when I'm caving. Just really helpful. You can use it for lava, if you catch on fire, or making obsidian to get across lava. You can even use it for pushing away mobs, or climbing. It's kind of hard to use it for that, but you can do it. Probably easier to stack up blocks though. I wonder if this will. Yep. It opens up. Looks like this is a dead end though. Oh, there might be something. I'll go check it out. Nope. Well, I think I'm gonna stop here and. I'm going to be mining more off camera because, well, I think it gets a little bit repetitive just gathering resources and stuff, but, so, on the next episode I should have some more gear and I'll try to do something else besides caving and I should have, yeah, be geared up and Maybe try to start building something. I'm not sure. Maybe my house. Okay, so see you next episode. This is episode one. Goodbye.